welcome to Adi's Kitchen. Today I'm going to prepare a nice and amazing chicken palau preparation. I have already shown you chicken palau preparation using a regular vessel and also palau or biryani masala powder. But this time I'm going to show you in a pressure cooker how to prepare a chicken biryani as well as I'm not using any spice powders in this at all all the spices which i am using are just you know the whole spices not the powder at all so this is going to be very milder and really gives a nice taste let us see the ingredients we require for this i've taken around this size cups of around five cups of rice and good basmati rice I have soaked it for 45 minutes this is approximately around 450 grams of rice and 800 grams of chicken with bones I am not using here chicken with skin if you want you can also use chicken with skin in this preparation oil we gonna need around 3 tablespoons I am not using powdered salt I am using crystal salt and then I am also using around 2 to 3 tablespoons of desi ghee. Then around 3 tablespoons of yogurt, 1 fourth bunch of chopped coriander leaves, around 2 tablespoons of ginger and uh, garlic paste, 10 green chilies. I have nicely sliced it. Well, I am using around 10 green chilies because I am not using chili powder at all or any spices at all in this preparation and then around three medium sized onions I have sliced it let us have a look on the spices as well I am using bay leaves approximately five to six bay leaves which are really required for this preparation and ten to twelve green cardamom around 4 cinnamon sticks, 3 star anise, 15 to 20 cashew nuts, 1 and a half tablespoons of sahi jeera, it's not regular cumin uh, seed, it's black cumin seed, it's called sahi jeera, around 6 kapok buds, like dried kapok buds, 3 maize, 1 nutmeg, 1 tablespoon of uh, peppercorn, around 5 to 6 cloves. I am using here around 7 black cardamom. So these are the biryani spices which we require. I am not going to powder this. I am going to use them as a whole. Let's get started. So place this cooker on the stove. Keep the flame on uh, medium. I'm just pouring around three tablespoons of oil to this once the oil is you know hot enough we are going to just slightly slightly roast these biryani spices in the beginning the oil is hot enough I'm going to throw in all these spices except the cashew nuts when you roast this in oil in medium flame all these spices will release the flavors into the oil and that gives an excellent flavor for this chicken pulao preparation Follow this, you will really make an excellent chicken pala and the milder one. You just need to saute this for about one minute on a medium flame. Well, Pulao is a cousin 
of biryani I call most of the times these both dishes obviously brings out lot of aroma and, and the tastes from these dishes are excellent when you cook biryani your whole house is full of aromas when you cook pulao next to your house two streets next to your house these nice aromas everybody can feel look at this they are also crackling a bit I can feel those aromas and nice aromas are really coming out of this uh, uh, oil so this has been already cooked for about one minute right now I am adding the onions to this Just saute this for about 2 minutes. These onions does not need to be brown. So you don't have to caramelize these onions. Well after 2 minutes of cooking, after the onions have been added, I am also adding the crystal salt, approximately 1 tablespoon. I am going to saute this. Now I am adding ginger and garlic paste and also these green chilies. I will cook it for about one more minute and I will make sure the raw flavor of the ginger garlic is gone from this dish so it will take approximately one minute make sure you cook it properly well after i have added these green chilies and uh, ginger garlic paste i have cooked it for one minute now i am adding chicken pieces you know look at these chicken pieces these are mediums sized for pulao you always have to cut to medium size and for biryanis usually you can also use large size and big size uh, chicken pieces so just uh, add these chicken pieces you can also use boneless uh, breast uh, meat of the chicken but the best is to have the Thai meat with bones it tastes much better than boneless and uh, breast meat. Just mix it, cook it for about two minutes. You know, this quite simple it is not really complex process if you really know one after the other what you have to add and all these spices you can easily buy in any Indian grocery store and this pulao you can make it at home quite easily unlike biryani pulao is not that difficult Now the chicken has been almost uh, cooked for uh, 2 minutes. This is when we have to add water. I will explain you how much water I am adding in some time. First let me add this water to this. There are two rules you must always remember. Make sure when you add the water, the water must cover all the chicken pieces. It should be a little bit, you know, more water that you can feed when you add the chicken pieces can easily move around I've taken around 5 cups of rice and I have soaked it for about 45 minutes usually you need to take water 1 is to 2 ratio 
but since you have already soaked for 45 minutes you need to take 1 is to 1.5 ratio that means seven and a half glass water is enough for five cups of rice now keep the flame on high let the water come to the boil so this is when I am also adding yogurt and also coriander just mix this once the water comes to a boil always we have to check for the salt it should be little bit saltier because you have to add rice to this if it is not little saltier then you will not uh, enjoy the taste of the pulao so it will take around 2 to 3 minutes to come to a boil look at this now the water is really boiling you can see the spices you know they became double in size look at this well okay this is when those nice oils from the spices come out of it and this will be more flavorful so now I'm going to add rice to this well before I add rice I have already tasted the salt of this recipe is perfectly okay for this as I said it should be slightly saltier so just mix this don't mix it too much so we will boil this until the water is completely evaporated and then we will cover with the lid and we will cook it for 20 minutes on slow flame until the water gets evaporated you can cook it on high flame so still it is on high flame so probably it will take two or three minutes to evaporate the water look at this the water is almost evaporating so I am also adding these two tablespoons of ghee to this and cashew nuts just to gently mix it from the bottom to the top like this it will take another one minute to get the water completely evaporated look at this very little amount of moisture is there so this way I'm I am putting that flame to very low don't mix it too much so I have to cover with this lid and I'm transferring to the lowest possible flame just cook it for about 20 minutes on lowest possible flame and then rest it for 5 to 10 minutes chicken pulao in the pressure cooker will be ready well the chicken pulao has been cooked for 20 minutes on slow flame and rested for 20 minutes also so let me open this look at this it gives a nice aromas it's really fantastic look at this rice this is fantastic you can see that it's really not messed up you know the rice is very separating very good this is, has been cooked very nice let me just transfer a little amount to this plate Of my house is full of aromas and this is completely like in white color because we have not added any spices 
I mean in the form of powders look at this chicken piece it's like literally you know the meat is coming out of the bone this is how this pressure cooker chicken palau should be cooked I really can't stop myself. I have to taste this quickly. Wow, wow, wow. What a great aroma. Wow. Really great. An excellent chicken palau preparation. You can easily make. Thanks for watching this recipe. Please subscribe my channel.